Hi traders, welcome to this demo video of the moving average price proximity alert. What we have here is a euro dollar hourly chart and I've put the indicator onto the chart as you can see here. So it's called moving average alert MQL5 market. And this is a list of external input parameters, which you can see here. And we can enable the alert system. We can enable push alerts. So if you're using a device which can accept push alerts uh, from MetaTrader, you can enable that. Uh, you can enable MT4 on-screen pop-up alerts and also email alerts. So if for email alerts, you need to go to the email alert tabs in your MT4 options. So in here, you need to set up your SMTP email settings accordingly and make sure that those are enabled if you want to receive email alerts. You can also control the alert sound, price moving average proximity alert sound, the maximum number of alerts in a specific interval. So, for example, at the moment where the system is going to give you two alerts and, it will, uh, and basically it will separate the alerts by 60 seconds, so the minimum time between alerts and seconds. You can, if you make this window bigger, you can see the description in full. And you can also reset the alert counter after a certain number of minutes so I would suggest that if you're running on an hourly chart you reset the alert counter after 60 minutes so every time a new bar is formed the alert counter gets reset. The type of proximity alert uh, can be either printed where uh, the price action has crossed over the moving average and it's, it's printed, it's a historical cross or it can be a touch based cross where the price action momentarily crosses over the moving average. You can control the moving average period, so at the moment we're using 5, we can change that to anything we want, so maybe 10 for example. You can see the moving average has now gone to 10 periods. And we can shift the moving average if we want to. And you have different types of moving average calculation method. And a moving average applied price, which is how the moving average is actually calculated. So you've got all the MT4 options there available to you. Uh, so. So what I'm going to do for, for demonstration purposes is I'm going to use a really short time frame like M1 and I'm going to use a really short period moving average. So I've, I'm using in this case a three period moving average and I've changed the type of proximity alert to touch and I'm going to give myself a maximum of five alerts and I'm going to put a, an interval of between the alerts of say 10 seconds and I'm going to reset the alert counter every minute. So what we're going to see is, you've just seen an alert being triggered there because we've got, it's saying here, euro dollar, one minute, the three period moving average is a possible cross up. And it's possible because the actual bar hasn't actually printed yet. If I changed it, proximity alert to printed, we'd have to wait until this bar closes before we receive an alert. Now, that will, I'll show you that in a second. So as soon as this bar, this candle here, finishes, uh, is formed, and we go on to the next, okay, you see here we've got another another alert being triggered. So this is saying uh, euro dollar one, which is, means euro dollar one minute, three period moving average crossed up. It's a physical cross. And then we're getting that alert every 10 seconds because we've set a uh, maximum number of alerts to five and the minimum time between alerts is 10 seconds so you're seeing this alert being triggered now and that's basically it so the system is effectively a moving average crossover alert system